From his $2.2 million Devil 16 to a gaudy, one of a kind Rolls Royce Phantom with a custom diamond owl hood ornament, there's little doubt that Drake might have the absolute coolest car collection in all of Canada. And those two are just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to the depths of his passion fruit for automobiles. He's also got a Lamborghini in his collection along with a Ferrari, three different Mercedes, and multiple Rolls Royces. A self-proclaimed car guy, Aubrey Drake Graham is a Canadian rapper, singer, songwriter, and actor who isn't afraid to spend his millions on the most expensive of rides, always making sure that he has the most exclusive whips parked in his garage. As of 2020, Drake's net worth is estimated to be roughly $150 million, making him one of the richest rappers in the world, and number 5 on Forbes' list of the richest rappers in 2019, a list in which he is the youngest entrant by 10 years. Drake's famously stated in one of his songs, Started From The Bottom, Now I'm Here, and if you ever needed a visual reminder of just how far he's come, then take a look at this. This Chevrolet Malibu LS might not be the nicest of cars, but it was one of the first cars that Drake ever owned, and it got him where he needed to go when he was hustling to break into the industry. After landing himself a role in Degrassi High, he updated to an Acura TSX to get him to and from set. What's up, everybody? You're chilling with me, Aubrey Graham. You guys want to go for a ride? We can go for a ride. This is my baby, I guess. Um, it's a 2004 Acura TSX. It's a nice first car for like a team. I guess, as opposed to a Mercedes or BMW. I think that's pretentious, personally. But hey, if you have the money to buy it, then feel free. But times change, and of course, so has Drake. Those two cars represent his bottom, and today I'm gonna show you all just how far he's climbed to the very top. What's going on, guys and girls? It's Kara back with a brand new episode in our car tour series. Today, we're gonna go in depth into Drake's collection and take a look at his nicest rides. If you like this one, don't forget to check out the one we did on Travis Scott's car collection. And if you guys want more of these car tours, let me know in the comments who's next. I'm thinking Kanye or Snoop Dogg. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, and follow me on Instagram if you want to chat. Now let's get into this video. Let's start with one of the cars Drake is most associated with, his Bentley Continental GTC. That's because this vehicle first appeared in the rapper's 2013 video for Started From The Bottom. Although it's likely that this exact car was only loaned to the rapper for the video shoot, he's been seen driving around Toronto in a similarly designed Bentley Continental convertible. Both pack a W12 engine with 0 to 60 miles per hour sprint time in just 3.9 seconds. The Continental is one of the first Bentleys to ever be mass produced, and you might be able to get your hands on one for around 100 Drake purchased a Brabus A50 6.0 by Turbo Coupe in 2015. In fact, back then it was the very first S-Class Coupe based Brabus to ever be sold in North America. This powerful car comes with an all-wheel drive and 6.0 liter twin turbo V engine capable of producing 838 brake horsepower and pushing the coupe to a top speed of 217 miles per hour. The engineering of this $160,000 car is astounding and most car enthusiasts will tell you that the performance of its engine will blow your mind. It's one of the fastest luxury cars ever made, and Brabus has even claimed that it's the fastest and most powerful all-wheel drive coupe on the planet. Next is his Lamborghini Aventador because sometimes even Drake wants to feel like Batman and who can blame him? Equipped with HRE wheels and a 6.5 liter V12 engine, built for reaching 60 miles per hour in 3 seconds, this monster of a vehicle is well equipped for racing down Canada's less populated open roads. Drake even dropped some extra dough for the custom matte grey paint job as well as an upgraded exhaust system just to make sure everyone knows he's coming. The top speed on this ride is pegged at around 217 miles per hour and is valued at just over 400,000. The Bugatti Veyron Sang Noir is an exclusive special edition of one of the most powerful hypercars ever made. Needs some, need some proof? Dropped a cool $2 million for this bad boy that's built with an 8.0 liter quad turbocharged W6 cylinder engine. The car has a top speed of an eye popping 253 miles per hour. The outside of the vehicle is all black with a tangy orange interior that makes for a vibrant drive down city streets. Want to get a sense of how rare this car really is? There were only 12 of them ever made. 
I mentioned the Devil 16 off the top and there's a reason. This Dubai imported vehicle was the first to ever make its way to Toronto so that Drake could feature it in his video for I'm Upset. This car is generally considered to be the envy of every car enthusiast in the world with its unreachable, unattainable, in your dream symbol of elite status. Drake reportedly pre-ordered the vehicle for $2.2 million after it was on display at the auto show in Toronto. The rumored top speed on this one is a seemingly impossible 310 miles per hour, and it comes equipped with 5,000 horsepower. That's like having an entire fleet of knights on horseback at your disposal. One of Drake's most recognizable whips is this yellow Ferrari La Ferrari that can also be spotted in his video for I'm Upset. This model first went into production in 2013, and years later in 2017, one of them was auctioned off for as much as $9 million. Drake picked his up in 2018 and even performed with the Ferrari floating above the stage of the Scotiabank Arena. Drake's 62S Maybach Londolette seems to be one of his favorites for driving around the streets of Toronto in. Ownership of this vehicle earns Drake some serious street cred due to him having bought the absolute last one ever made. The value of this car is said to be in the seven figure range. There's only one Mercedes Maybach G650 in Canada and can be found in Drake's garage. Due to its scarcity, this rare automobile can go for as much as $1 million at auctions. It's a unique mix of luxury finishings with off-road open-air capabilities, as well as a V12 engine that pumps out 630 horsepower under the hood. In the back seats, occupants can relax with active massaging leather seats, a business console, and thermal cup holders. This car is just one of 99 ever made, further proving that exclusivity is one of the biggest selling points for October's very own. There have been several variants of the Mercedes-Benz SLR McLaren produced over the years, but the original model came packed with a supercharged 5.4 liter V8 engine that produced 617 bhp. It's also been one of Drake's preferred roadsters. This car was produced from 2003 to 2010 and can sell for close to $1 million at auction. Drake purchased his back in 2017, maybe because he couldn't decide if he wanted a Mercedes or a McLaren, so why not just get one that combines the best of both? The final Mercedes in Drake's collection is the Mercedes Pullman. You might not have ever heard of this car, most people haven't because only the most elite can afford to buy this beauty. It sells for at least $600,000 and that's before all the custom work that we all know Drake no doubt added on. It has the energy of 532 horses within its V12 engine and it's the perfect combination of luxury meeting power. What's the best way to celebrate selling 600,000 copies of your newest album in just 24 hours? Apparently if you're Drake, you buy a McLaren. He bought himself a 675 LT after his release of Views and reportedly dropped almost 350k on it. An enhanced version of the 650S model, the aerodynamic design of the car provides a 40% increase in downforce, which I'm pretty sure translates to this car goes super fast. Only 500 models of this vehicle were ever produced and one of them is parked in Drake's garage. We finally come to one of Drake's most iconic cars. The Phantom is an expensive car to be sure, but surprisingly it's not all that rare. Since that just simply won't do for Drake, he totally redesigned the exterior and interior of his Phantom to suit his needs. Let's start with the starlight headliner that twinkles in the interior, a fiber octave star studded roof. As if this stylish vehicle could convey any more opulence in class, Drake eventually had the exterior custom made to sport an OVO owl hood ornament, complete with diamond eyes. Oh, and by the way, he also had diamonds added to the base and his name engraved on it as well, just so that everyone knows who it is next to them in traffic. Much like with his Phantom, Drake's Rolls Royce Wraith is one of a kind too. This matte black edition is one of the most high-end luxury cars you can find on the market. This one comes with a roaring twin turbocharged V12 engine and the ability to floor it from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 4.3 seconds. Okay, this one's maybe a bit of a cheat because there's absolutely no way that Drake is ever fitting his air Drake into a garage, no matter how nice his new home is. But this Boeing 767 was actually gifted to the rapper by Cargo Jet, who knew that the rapper would fly it all around the world with the company's branding on it. He recently upgraded the ride with the help of the Louis Vuitton designer and turned it into a one of a kind jet that perfectly fits into his image. I don't know about you guys, but I'm exhausted. That was a whole lot of cars to get through. Anyone know of one I might have missed for the list? Let me know in the comments below, as well as which one was your fave. Don't forget to let me know whose garage you'd like to have a look inside of next and follow me on Instagram. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.